Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. It's been suspected in the hobby for some time that milkback and dairy cow are not the same as Porcelia labus, and we have some pretty compelling evidence now, in addition to the suspicions that have existed in the hobby for some time. And uh, these two pieces of compelling evidence are thanks to Nathan T. Jones. He's examined these uh, two isopod hobby staples under a microscope and compared them carefully with Porcelia labus. That is the first piece of evidence. Uh, he has demonstrated that the copulatory organs of the male, the pleopod 1 endopodite, uh, has some significant morphological differences in it. And if you would like to know more about that, you can see his article, which is linked in the description with Nathan's permission. Another piece of evidence that uh, dairy cows and milkbacks are not Porcelia labus, you know, we've had people try to cross them in the hobby without success. I've tried to cross both uh, milkback with orange as well as dairy cow with orange. But uh, something that Nathan has tried to do is, and with success, is cross milkback with dairy cow. And he was able to produce uh, offspring, fertile offspring, um, multi generationally. So we know that uh, these are able to reproduce successfully, therefore, showing that they appear to be the same species and that crosses with orange labus don't uh, work. Um, here's an interesting thing though. I wasn't aware of this, but apparently there is uh, some misinformation circulating in the hobby that milkbacks and dairy cows cannot uh, reproduce. Uh, but Nathan has shown that that is not the case. And uh, some time ago, someone asked me why I hadn't tried to cross them. And I thought, well, I don't want to from a hobby standpoint, because they're already kind of similar and crossing them would likely result in offspring that you know, we're somewhere in between, perhaps, or maybe one of these would be dominant over the other, and we would basically lose the trait. And I didn't see a reason to do that from a hobby perspective, just keeping, you know, visibly how they look. But from a standpoint of determining what is what, it makes a lot of sense for Nathan to have crossed these, so I'm glad that he did that and showed us that they, indeed, uh, must be the same species. Uh, when I made my first crossbreeding attempts with uh, dairy cows and orange lavis, I wasn't aware that a cross between the two had already been attempted. And I didn't see any reason why it would fail, because I assumed they were the same species. And in my attempts to cross them, I observed them multiple times attempting to mate. Um, after all, I had previously had success producing Peacegaber orange Dalmatians by crossing Peacegaber Spanish orange with Peacegaber Dalmatian, and then allowing their double heterozygous offspring to breed, some of which turned out to be orange Dalmatians. So I figured it would be very similar. But at the time, I didn't know that they were different species. So now it makes sense. Immediately after I posted that video, it was interesting because uh, people began to tell me that not only that it had already been attempted, and, but they were saying that the reason why it wouldn't work is that somehow the Dalmatian mutation, which is what dairy cows have, uh, giving them this pattern, but in that mutation, something else had also happened that changed their copulatory organs to the point that they couldn't reproduce with other P. Lavis. In other words, it was being suggested that the morph had caused a speciation event, like uh, they corresponded somehow. To be honest, that didn't make much sense to me for a number of reasons. And one of these reasons why I think that is not likely is that a change in the copulatory organs of the males wouldn't necessarily be accompanied by a corresponding and complementary morphological change in the females that would render them compatible with those males. In fact, the odds of that happening seem astronomically low. So it seems much more likely to be, and to Nathan, if you read the article that I've linked in the description, that milkbacks and dairy cows are simply descended from a species that resembles P. Labus in a superficial way. That it's, we can look at them and see and they look a lot alike. And so they were simply mistaken for P. Labus when they were added to the hobby, and that they diverged from a common ancestor with uh, they diverged from a common ancestor that they shared with P. Labus in the distant past, long before the isopod hobby existed. Uh, that seems more likely uh, to Nathan as well as it does to me. So what does this mean for the hobby? Well, in the long run, uh, dairy cows and milkbacks, if they're not P. Labus, they won't be covered by permits for P. Labus. So we'll see how that goes in the hobby, uh, how that changes things in the, in the future. Uh, we may very well not be able to ship them anymore. Uh, fortunately, I'll still be able to ship uh, California Mix, which is still uh, one of my favorite morphs, and 
as far as I know, Orange Labus, right now I think they're P uh, Labus, PCF Labus, meaning the they appear to be Labus as far as we know, but without um, further examination, we won't know for sure. And once I have a nice robust colony, my new Porcelia Labus Sonoran desert stock as well, which should be very arid tolerant. I want to thank Nathan for his expertise and his efforts, which he's leveraging to bring some much needed clarity to the isopod taxonomy in the hobby and for sharing the information that he's provided, allowing me to share that information. And I want to thank my patrons, and thank you all for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.